Hi, my name is Jeanette and welcome to another day, another build. Today we are building a house inspired by Hannah's house from Pretty Little Lies and I hope you like it. Okay, not today, I built this house a while ago but we just pretend that it was today. This house ended up very cute, very elegant but a lot of white and grey. It was kind of not the intention but it was too cute and I like it so all's well, the ends well, yeah. Let's go with that. This house has a very mix between modern and traditional, which I think it suits the character. And I really like how it ended up. I had this idea for a while to make houses inspired by characters or just build some iconic houses from characters or just fun to build. I don't care. And then last year I was re-watching Pretty Lies for I don't know how many times. And this house seemed like a good idea for me to start. So if you'd like to see more houses from different characters, let me know, it might be fun. For this house, I kind of made a mood board for me to know what to put on the house, what would inspire me, and I'm showing you right now. But what I knew about this house was the iconic red door, that is just iconic if you look for the house because I don't think that I saw that on the show. But they have a really cool red door and the black and white windows, they style the house, at least the front. And I knew kind of the idea of Hannah's bedroom, a bedroom on the house, the entryway and the kitchen, but also the little seating area on the back door that is through the kitchen. If you watch the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. So these were the things that I wanted to be on the house, but everything else is just my mind going crazy and creating a house. On the outside, this house, I focus on a very minimum landscaping. I just wanted something that it looked easy to maintain, but it still looked like you put thought into it, but actually you can just forget that it's there and it will be okay. It's just a bit of low line grass and some flowers, but most is just planter boxes and and trees to make it look like it's more complicated than it actually is. We also have more plants on the seating area outside when you go outside of the kitchen. I just thought it looked really cool with a bunch of plants hanging and on the wall. And it does end up looking really cool. So also at the ends well, I really like that. But outside we also gonna have a barbecue. Not that they going to barbecue a lot, but it is a red barbecue and it looked iconic and cool. So I thought it might match the house. Then we have the sitting area, some lounge chairs and the hot tub. This part I think fits them, so it looks cool too. On the inside, we are going to have two very large bedrooms. And that is because I could put more bedrooms on this house, but then there is no need to. On the show it's just Hannah and her mother living on the house. It didn't need any more bedrooms, so I kind of just wanted to focus on both the bedrooms. And I think that was a good decision for this house. It's going to be expensive for just two bedrooms, but you can easily turn into more bedrooms if you like. We have four bedrooms. The bedrooms are one downstairs and three more upstairs, two on the hallway and one on suite for Hannah's bedroom. I know that the show is not like that, but I didn't really care. It looked cool on the scene. And let's pretend that one of the hallway's bedroom is just her mom's ensuite, even if it's not connected. We just pretend that. We also have an office downstairs and a really big kitchen and very modern. And also a dining room and a living room, obviously. Yeah, I really like it. Right now, there's no traditional, modern, very white, very gray and very classy, I think. I really like this house. On the end, this house costs 125,920,000, which is a really expensive house for just two bedrooms, but it feels like an expensive house, so I don't really care that it is actually expensive. I built it in a 30 by 20 lot and it's not a skin. I used Cottage Haven, Get Famous, Seasons, Jungle Adventure, Parenthood, Vampires, my first pet stuff and the dessert looks cute. On my defense, the last two I got it for free when the Sims were given these packs, so they're kind of a skin in my mind, but it's young, it's a pack, two packs. So. Sorry. I thought that this house was a good way for me to start this building characters' houses, but if you'd like to see another character or another house, just let me know in the comments. I'm definitely going to read and do it if I know what you're talking about. And I already have the mood boards for the other girls, for Aria and Emily and Spencer houses. That will be cool too. On this house, it started with the hallway. I didn't 
put on the speed build but I made the hallway kind of what it looks like on the show with the stairs and the entryway it's not much for me to do it's an entryway but still from the entryway we have the office the office is very kind of modern but it's still comfortable not just a crazy white office and throughout the house we have very feminine touches just very light colors pink and flowers and I really like it even though it's not exactly like the show I just wanted to bring the characters that live there their personalities to the house and I think that I managed that here on the bedrooms I think we have Hannah's bedroom with on the show I think it's butterflies wallpaper that she has but we don't have that on the scene so I just use flowers wallpaper it's still the same style so I think it works she has her own bathroom and a very big closet and the kind of desk space that she has on the show her mother's bedroom is also a very big bedroom with a huge closet and more spacious I didn't put much in there one because I know how her bedroom actually is on the show actually is on the show but also because I don't think she is a cluttered person she looks very classy and very not minimalistic but still not cluttered a kind of very good middle ground the hallways are already decorated outside the speed build. The bedrooms are also decorated outside the speed build, but they are very bright and comfortable. You want to be there and just relax. If you can do that on a bedroom, on a bed, I don't know. It's a bedroom. It's cool. It's gorgeous. And I like it. The outside already is set. And the kitchen is a very big kitchen. On the show, it's very white. It's an all white kitchen, I think. But on the scenes, it was too much white. So I just used the cabinets white and the upper cabinets blue, which I think it works with the style of the house. It works with the style of the girls, but it still looks better on the scenes. The old white was just giving hospital and nobody likes that. I didn't clutter this house very much because it doesn't seem like the house that it will be very cluttered, but it still I think it has a good balance between looking cozy, looking lifting, but it's still being very classic. The living room is one of my favorite parts of this house. The living room and Hannah's bedroom. It's very detail oriented. A lot of plants, the color I like. It has the gray floor, the white walls, but it's still a warmer wood tone on the furniture, which I think balances everything out. And I really like this house. If you're next to the channel, which you probably are because it's a very new channel, welcome. I hope you like this house. I hope you bring me ideas for another house. Do you want to see a fixer up or do you want to see more characters' house? I'm doing a tree house challenge Barbie inspired which is a uh, starter home Barbie inspired and then a 50 or 70k Barbie house I haven't decided yet and then I mentioned a limited budget Barbie house which is going to be crazy and take me way too long but it will be fun and if you have more ideas just let me know I have to say I already built the starter home for the Barbie challenge and then I already building the second house it will be a more modern house because the first one is very traditional the second one modern and the third one a very big mansion so I'm really mad there and just after I finished and already posted the starter home we get a swatch update with a lot of pink I already finished the house since I don't need anymore but for the other houses I think it will be good now that the style of the swatch updates will help me now on the modern house but maybe on the mansion so that will be fun yeah I really hope you like this house if you do don't forget to leave a like or comment subscribe if you want to see more but for today I hope you have a great day with me drink water and bye bye